What is cranking wieners? Welcome back to the Bass Barn. Today's video is gonna be an exciting one. This is gonna be kind of a bittersweet moment because the last time we filmed this video, it was great because we got to take a bass out of our dying backyard pond and bring it in to our new Bass Barn pond. Bass Barn? Barn? Bass pond? I don't know what we're, I don't know what we're gonna call this yet, but it's a pond in a barn and there's a bass in it, or at least there was a bass in it. Well, we walked away for a few minutes to film a podcast and the bass jumped out of the pond and died. He's not dead yet. He's dead as Give him a second. Why does he have to jump out? Dude, we put up precautions for that too. <laughs> it wasn't a very good <laughs> I'm saddened the fact that our first bass did not survive the new pond. The bluegill are still doing good, but the bass did not make it. So today's mission and goal is to go back out in the wilderness and try to capture another bass for this little pond. Now I will say, although it may not look like much right now, it looks like literally just like a kiddie pool in the middle of my barn, the plans for this thing are immense. I'm using this first pond as an opportunity to kind of learn how to raise some of these native fish here in Texas and get a kind of a hold and grasp as to what it's like to you know, have a pet fish. But this is a stepping stone for hopefully something much larger in the future. The other day when we were in Florida, I got inspired. We visited Paul Gaffaro, old PC. Great dude, awesome guy. And Paul is heavy into raising fish. He's really good at it. And his whole barn and his setup is nuts. He's got like, I think thousands of different fish from huge predatory peacock bass all the way to tiny little eels. It's nuts, and he's got this giant pond. And after seeing that, I'm like, dude, I wanna do that. While I'm fishing and filming an amazing series for you guys at home, I wanna have something here back at the property, back at the rig ranch, that keeps me busy, that I can come out here, feed big bass, or whatever we have lurking in, in, in the little pond. So today's goal is to catch ourselves a new bass. Maybe a fish that's a little bit bigger, a little bit more robust, and that isn't willing to jump out. We're also going to buy a net today, too. I think the plan is a couple stretches of these zip time together so it makes the width of our indoor pond spread it across and that way our next bass won't go full beluga mode and jump out of the freaking pond. We're here. Water is, hang on I'll let you know, it's about 39 degrees, that's good right there. I'll swim out to you. We're at the lake, this is where we're gonna hopefully find our new pet bass. As we were launching the boat, I saw some fish crush on bait. So that's a good sign. As long as they're feeding, that's all that matters. Oh, oh. Hopefully this is worth it. Oh, nice. So annoying that my sound effects just like turn on randomly. I don't even use those sound effects. There we go. Got one. Little guy. Actually, I think it's a freaking crappie. It is a crappie. <laughs> oh, it's a magnolia too. It's one of those weird ones. Well, we're not after this guy. Maybe we'll put one of these in the pond eventually, but this is actually a kind of a cool crappie. It's a magnolia crappie, meaning it's got that crazy black stripe on his head. One of the few places where I've been able to find them. They are kind of all over Texas, but they're a little uncommon, and apparently they like to eat jerk baits. Pretty little dude. Not what we're after. Nice little bycatch, though. Yappy. Take care. He's on it. There we go. Got him. About time. This one feels decent. I don't know how big, but it feels good. Is he going to be enough for the pond? I don't think so. He's little. We want something just a tad bigger than this dude, but it's a bass. It's the right species, just not the right size. Nice little dude, man, he hammered it head first. That's how you know they're eating. Oh my gosh, dude. Look how that little guy ate it. He's gone. <laughs> That's a good sign though. I think we should keep fishing though. As much as I wanna make this an easy video and say this is gonna be the one we put in the pond, let's at least try to catch one double his size. I know there's big ones in here. My biggest bass out here is like nine pounds, so. I think we can make it happen, but luckily, this is uh, this is your day. We're gonna send you back down. You can keep eating those shad and just have fun, bro. Just enjoy. It's winter break. Back you go, little buddy. Take care, Jimmy. Oh, here we go. 
Oh my god, you're giant, 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 giant. Oh, I had him. It's a giant. No, that was such a big fish. He knocked slack in my line. Holy hell, that was a giant. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. There we go. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. I hope this is a good one. I don't know. Might just be hooked funny. Yeah, he's just hooked funny. Damn, it is a bass though. We're gonna put him in the box just to make sure, but it's still not the size we're after. He's actually smaller than the other one. What the hell? Oh, it's scary how many big fish I'm seeing down here right now. We're gonna put this guy. Ah, that's a hook in my finger. That's a hook in my finger, Jimmy. Probably should use the pliers. We're gonna put this guy in the well just as an insurance in case we don't get that girtha that we're looking for. Oh my Oh, I just seen Adam. Come on, come on. Oh, this one. Oh, there's, there's like four of them chasing me. Like five, I got five of them on me right now. There we go, got him. Little guy. Damn it. <laughs> still no size, but we are catching fish still, and it's a good time. Nothing like stocking the pond and getting bit. I have seen some giants, though. We need to make it happen. I'm probably going to give another hour out here, and then we'll head back, just because I don't want to spend all day out in the old pond, but I, know, I just need one of these big ones to go stupid on me. I need a, I need a dumb one to drop an I, a couple IQ points and just crush this jerk bait. Just a wee little stinky guy. Oh, my God. Oh, he's stinky. You're stinky. See ya, bud. Thanks for not being big, of course. There we go. A little adjustment. This one feels a little bit better. Not done it. Feels a little bit better. Oh yeah. He's a little busy. Get on the boat. Oh, he's fat. This is fat. He's been eating shad. Just made a little adjustment there, throwing a tiny little swim bait. That can be a pretty good move for the wintertime bite. Not as long as the one we just caught, but definitely fat. I've seen some bigger ones too. Let's see if we can get them. Oh, come on, can crush it. There you go. Little. I don't think he's of any size, but it is a bass. Oh no, it's a crappie. Just kidding. Wow. Nice fat crappie. Crazy. Crappie on the jerk bait, crazy. I don't know, drop a comment. Let us know if we should put a crappie in the in the barn pond. Be kind of cool to have one big one. Be kind of cool to get one of those magnolias too like we caught earlier today. But for now we're sending them back. We'd always come back here and, and catch these crappie because apparently they're all over the place. Thanks little dude. Holy I thought that was a bass. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Look at the size of this freaking crappie. Oh my goodness, dude. We might have to keep this guy. This guy's huge. <laughs> Look at the mouth on this thing. Wow. Okay, I said we weren't going to keep any crappie, but I think we might have to keep this guy. He is... That is a giant crappie, dude. It's well over like 13 inches. Might be 14 inches. I don't know. Screw it. We'll put him in the box. I mean, I said drop a comment. Let us know if we should keep one. But I think this this is uh, this determines it. And you know what? If he's not a great pet, the great eating, right? We'll just eat him. <laughs> Sounds kind of messed up, but it's true. Drop your amazing table fare. All right, I'm gonna put him in the uh, put him in the box. We're back at the bass barn. Time to go put our fish in the pond. First things first. Let's put the mesh net down so old jimmy and timmy don't decide to take a leap of faith onto the concrete like the last one did <sighs> i'm pumped this is gonna be cool really only anticipated catching one fish today but the bass was small so i thought we'd throw in the crappie since the crappie was huge uh i got a good name for the crappie drop a comment let us know what we should call the bass i'm kind of thinking gary because that was the name of my first pet bass when i first moved to texas but we got to be a little more creative than that gary's cool and all but but i think we need a different name for for the new bass all right, let's do this. Oh, voila. Look at 
looks amazing, dude. Well, I don't know about amazing, but it'll work. That's all that matters. Maximum security, no one's getting out of here. It's a bit on the ugly side, but it's temporary. It's just until, uh, until we actually get a net to go over this. Of course, you can't have something permanent over the pond because you know, feeding time, making sure you can move stuff around. If I need to come here and clean this, I'll be able to remove this very easily. So the whole zip ties and the, and the chicken wire thing is um, not the best permanent move, but for now, it'll work and it'll hold our fish overnight. Look like SpongeBob with this net right now. Gonna go take our new pets, put them in the pond. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh wow, the bass is all colored up. Come here, come here. All right, we got the bass. We've got the bass. Oh, he looks so cool. He's got a nice little underbite too. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. In the new pond she goes. The first one of the day. Oh, let's go, baby. That's awesome. Dude, he looks so sick in there. Finally, we've got a system down. The water's been cycled. We now have some aerial protection. And this bass should do pretty dang well in this pond. He's got like a little black dot on his head. That's kind of cool. Let's go, fish number three. Second time's the charm with me. Uh, I know last time I messed up and I take full responsibility for that and it absolutely sucks. We've taken the right steps now. I'm still learning this thing. This is something that's completely new to me. I've always wanted to have an indoor pond, not a tank, I'm not a big tank guy, but an indoor pond and to have probably one of the coolest predatory fish in my opinion right here in my back door in my barn is nuts. He's not the biggest, but he's a stepping stone to this project and this is a, uh, I don't know, we, we'll welcome him. Like I said, drop a comment, let us know what his name should be, he needs a name. I don't know what to call him now. As of right now, he's just little Jimmy. And little Jimmy seems to be kind of figuring out, he's like, how do I jump out of here? Buddy, good luck with that. We got lots of zip ties and mesh down, so I don't think you're going anywhere. All right, time for the crappie. This is the grand finale. Dude, look at the size of that thing. This crappie is huge. It looks way bigger in the water. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing is bigger than the bass. Is it bigger than the bass? Caleb's nodding his head. Oh my Lord. All right, this guy should be a little bit chiller. When I first saw this guy on the graph, I thought it was a nice large mouth. Turns out it's just a mega white crappie. Look at the size of that crappie. Oh my gosh, this is so dope. Maybe as quick as possible. Come on. Come on. Get a quick gander at that fish. That thing is, oh God, let's just get him in the water. Ready? Right. Let's get old white crappie in the water. Dude, he is a beluga, like a bona fide beluga. He wants to stay in the net. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. He's like, what the hell, where am I? Wow. That is a unit. They look so cool too in the water. And that crappie is as big as our bass. Whew. I would guess he's probably close to 15 inches, pushing 15, not quite there. Oh, what a beautiful sight. We've got two bluegill, which have been cycling the pond for the past couple of weeks. We now have largemouth and the crappie. By the way, got a great name for the crappie. BFC, big crappie. Perfect and fitting name. Look, he's chilling on the surface. Dude, he is enormous. That's definitely one of my biggest crappie I think I've probably ever caught, especially out of that lake. Obviously we got a long ways to go. This is just the beginning. I think a couple things that I'm gonna do next with this project is we're gonna add a bit of structure, a bit of gravel that these fish can relate to and make it feel like they're actually at home and their natural environment. I wanna make sure these fish are comfortable, happy, well-fed. And on the well-fed topic, I'm also gonna probably install some sort of makeshift minnow bucket here so we can do some live feedings. The bluegill are already eating worms. I've been feeding them for the past couple of weeks and they, uh, they absolutely love it here. They're a bit skittish as most fish would be, but it's a good start. It's a good start and we've got some pretty amazing fish in here. I think my overall goal, and it's hard to tell because this barn is absolutely messy, but my overall goal with this barn is to create a, you know, a space similar to Paul's. Like, I was very much inspired by Paul Cafaro's setup. PC setup is dope, but I want to do my own twist on it. Make it more of like a, I don't know, like a Southern tackle shop style deal. Again, it's gonna be a huge work in progress, but I hope you guys are pumped. For now though, we're starting with this and 
This is gonna be cool, I'm gonna learn a lot. And this will be a project that will keep me busy when we're not filming big series, big fishing trips or if we're filming something crazy like the giant lure or maybe you know an episode of the Speed Seed Endeavors. But uh, I'm peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. As always, folks, keep fishing. Have a good time.